So how to make a girl miss you? So the most common thing that I hear quite often is guys, uh, they start seeing a girl, maybe they've only seen her once, maybe they've only just recently met up and they've got her number, um, and then something happens where they've got to know her enough, they've got into some form of dating routine, they might even be on their second date, it's, it's relatively early, they might have got to the stage where they they exchanged social media, so they're starting to get to know each other, and then the girl goes, poof, she ghosts him. Goes totally silent, and, and he doesn't know what went wrong, he doesn't know what happened, uh, she's not replying, she's just disappeared off the face of the earth, and he, do, he has no idea what's going on. Uh, this is very common, it happens all the time, where girls just poof, they just disappear, and the, and the guy just has no idea, he's frustrated, he doesn't know what he did wrong, he doesn't even know if he did anything wrong, uh, he has no idea, um, and he's just frustrated. Uh, so I'm going to give uh, my take on this, but before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit, novel, dating advice for the modern man. Uh, my book is now up for sale, and uh, if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, uh, just fill out the quiz and see if we fit, we're a good fit, and uh, we can get on with one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, together. Fill that out in the description. So, she's ghosted you. It's gone quiet. You have no idea what's going on. You don't know. Hopefully, uh, especially in the modern era, most of us, you know, you, you start off with maybe a number to start with. Uh, that number is usually connected to some sort of social media. Usually we get in contact, you know, you get to know someone, you start off a little bit. The beginning phases, you share your Instagram, you share some, uh, maybe your Facebook, you, you share some form of social media in the building phase of some form of a relationship. Now let's just assume that you're at that stage, which is very common, you, even if you're on the first date, then it gets to the point where, okay, well, we, we met, uh, you, you know, you met her in a bar, or you met her through a group of friends, or you, it was through cold approach, you approached her, uh, day game, you met a number, got a number, and then you've gone out on a date, and then it's got to the stage where you, you've shared some social media, and then she's ghosted you and you don't know what went wrong. One of the best strategies, and I know this is a bit of a cliche, is to have uh, the best revenge is a good life. <laughs> uh, a lot of people say that, um, but it's not so easy to do, is it? It's tough when you're in this situation. What does work and what has worked in the past uh, for me, uh, and I'll tell you a little story. So, for, for instance, uh, I met a girl, this was quite a while ago, it was probably a decade ago, I, I met a girl through Cold Approach, it was in the mall, uh, we exchanged numbers, and then I texted her, she replied once or twice, and I invited her out. She just went silent, radio silence. At that point, there was nothing I could do, I literally deleted her number and moved on. Two weeks or more later, <laughs> I get a reply from her, and then we eventually go out on our first date. Because she ghosted me and went quiet in that little period there, I realised this is a bit of a unreliable girl, maybe she's got a lot of options, and it turns out she had done a little bit of modelling, she had a bit of an ego, she had a lot of friends around that were... Um, always hanging, wanting to hang out and go clubbing with her, so she did have a lot of things to do. So on the first date, uh, I ended up, uh, we just went to dinner, and then I literally just invited her back to my place, went back to my place, we uh, spent the night at my place, if you know what I mean, and then literally after doing that, she ghosted me again. But at that stage, we had shared our social media. Uh, we had shared social media, so she had time to check me out and things like that. And and that's generally when you have a little bit more leverage, right? Because you can assume that she's still going to be checking up on what you're doing, even though she's not replying to your messages or anything like that. First goal is don't overdo it and send her a ton of messages. Don't do that. That is uh, the worst thing you can do is... 
uh, oh hey, how you going, you know, how was last night, what are you up to, some sort of question, you know, uh, when are we going to meet up next, you want to meet up this time or whatever, don't just go bam, 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 if you've left a question there, leave it, it's her turn to reply, uh, don't be messaging over and over and over again, at that point, she ghosted me again, and what I did was, I realised, okay, alright, well, there's not much I can do. All I can do is go out and enjoy life, and maybe the best, <laughs> the best solution would be to go find yourself another girl, and post it on social media, and then she'll be going, what, 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 what happened? You go, you go, well, you didn't reply, so what do you expect me to think, you, you know? Um, but uh, if you can't do that, <laughs> which is probably not the best strategy. I dare say it would be better to try and get that one girl back. And in game theory, which I mentioned in my book, it is good to get that second girl and have them just running simultaneously and always have one in the back pocket just in case. Because you never know with modern dating these days because so many girls are so flaky and they ghost you all the time. It is better to always have second, third, fourth option uh, because they're so unreliable most of the time. It's literally the best option. Always have a backup plan, especially in the modern era, 2020. Uh, but back to my story. Uh, we slept together the first date because I, I supercharged it, I, I, I made sure that I, I tried to make it all happen fast because she was unreliable. Uh, you have to play, play the field. <laughs> That's what the field is. The field is she's unreliable, you don't know. So what happened, I would be more frustrated if I, I didn't sleep with her on the first date and I took her out to dinner and then she ghosted me anyway. I'd be even more frustrated because then I think she didn't reply for two weeks, I should have known better, right? So, what happened then, we exchanged uh, Facebook, and uh, what I did was I had a bit more spare time, and so I posted uh, a few photos of me going out. So I went out to a bar with a, with a group of friends, and I posted that photo. Um, uh, at that stage, I, I had no idea. It's not like Instagram these days, but uh, I couldn't tell if she had have seen it, but I just assumed she did. And then, uh, not too much longer later, I posted another thing of me going out having fun. And then what happened was, she came around, and then I saw her again the next weekend. So, there's something happening with men sometimes, is when you meet a girl, and it's early on, you start to build your life around the girl. And you should never be building your life around a girl. She needs to know that you are your own independent man. You have your own life. You have a lot of fun things to do. You have Your life isn't revolving around her because that's a bad situation for a girl to be in when your life revolves around her. You have to have your own life, your own passions, your own things going on. And she is just an extra to your awesome life. You see what I mean? Um, to the point where you you have to try fit her into your awesome life. That's the ultimate way to be living as a man. Not to be building it around her. And if anything happens with that relationship, it destroys your life. That's the worst case scenario. Um, and to some extent, when a girl sees that, it's not necessarily that she's thinking, oh, okay, he's got all this fun and I feel jealous. It's more that... Okay, he has a life outside of me and he's choosing to hang out with me. It's not that he has no other options and he's building the life around me. You see, this is the worst case scenario for a girl to have you building your life around her. And that's really what's going on. Uh, it's not that she sees that you have a life and um, she's a little bit jealous and she feels like she's missing out. That's not it. Because she is, you know, if she's a high quality girl that has lots of people that want to hang out with her all the time, she can go party every day of the week with anybody she wants. Free drinks in the bar, parties every weekend, everyone will pay for her dinner, pay for everything. This is not how her mind is going to work because she has all the options in the world. The point is, she doesn't want you revolving your life around her because that will stifle her and just, you know, it'll be claustrophobic for her. 
And so that's kind of uh, the test. And then sometimes she'll ask you, oh, I saw that you went out, you did this and this and this. And then you say, you don't go, oh, yeah, I saw it and pass it off. What you do is you say, well, yeah, you were my first option, but I've got all these other options in my life. I've got a lot of other things in my life. You were my first option, but you weren't replying, were you? <laughs> and you make it lighthearted. You don't uh, be bitter and demanding. You just go, look, well... If you don't have, you don't want to hang out with me, I've got all these other things going on. I've got other shit going on. I've got a good life. And if you're busy, I'm going to go do my other stuff. And that, which is kind of counterintuitive, is what she wants to hear. So, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button. And click the bell icon if you like this advice. Um, uh, and also, I've got some uh, a form in the description so you can sign up to do some coaching with me. I'll see you in the next video.